you know, one day, no, no rest or five days rest. Runner goes, pitch bounces outside. The throw in time, but it bounces out of the glove of George Khalil. So get set to pitch to Jake Bowie. Off goes Whitefield. Pitches inside. A good jump by Aaron and good throw or not. Whitefield is in the second base safely. Payoff again. That one's lifted deep into center field. Reddick going back on the track. Leaping up. Goodbye. J.D. Osborne. A solo shot. The first hit of the game for the Aces leaves the ballpark. 2-0 Melbourne in the first. Look pretty pleased. Yeah, everybody's having fun. So is Ulrich Boyarski. Goodbye. A little bit less fun now. <laughs> Be up there for a favorite for hitter of the week in the ABL. Uh, there are plenty of choices from this series. Here in the second, Mincy trying to close it out. Called strike three. A breaking ball dots the eye on the outside corner. One, two. That is hit in the air over the head of a leaping common arrow. And that's down for a base hit. Willis sprints around third base. He will score easily. And it's an RBI single for Chris Burke. Aces lead 5-1, to one, top of the fourth. The 30-year-old right-hander delivers. Willis going back on this one. And that one is gone. Second homer of the day for Pete Cosma. He knew it. Slow trot around the bases for the former big league veteran. Did not get any runs of support. We'll take a look at this all-star access higher replay. Fastball up and in. Pensacola blowout game three win to clinch the title. And that clinches strikeout number five for Cody Mincy. Yeah, you had Gunnar Kynes and Brock Gilliam pitch two of the best starts that we've seen. Burke lines one down the left field line. A fair ball. Khalil will score easily. Here comes Whitefield. Burke digging for second. It's a two-run, two-bagger with swagger for Chris Burke. And the Aces are pouring it on. It's 7-2 to in the fourth. Four sacrifice flies in four innings for Melbourne. Now this one's ripped into the left field corner. J.D. Osborne looking for his second extra base hit of the day. Here's the throw into the infield. Osborne slides in safely. The second double of the inning for the Aces. And Osborne's two for two. Fly ball, left field, and deep. Hall goes back, but he'll just turn and watch it fly. Fire me up, Jared Dale. A two-run shot, five runs in the inning for the Aces. Double digits for the Aces as well. It's 10-2 in the fifth. He knows he just has to get through this fifth to qualify for it. This one's driven out to deep left. Willis goes back, and that one sails over the wall. Third home run of the game for the Heat but the Aces with a 10 spot on the board. Not too worried about that one, like 18, 16, something like that, but haven't had that. This one's a little more lopsided, but he knew, he knew the ball was going to fly today for the Aces. Now he hits a ground ball up the middle. Cook has it, steps on second, throws to first, and it's a 4-3 inning-ending double play. Jeremy Young on for the sixth. Cody Mincy's afternoon is finished. Five innings, gave up three runs, and the first... Batter that Jeremy Young faces sends one to deep center. Jacob Robson can't get it. It's over his head off the wall. And it's a stand-up double for Alex Hall to start the sixth. The suspended game from last night had to be finished today. Hard hit ground ball through into right field. And the fourth run of the day comes in for the Heat. It's an RBI single for Jake Bowie. That brings up the nine-hole hitter B.J. Cook with two on and just one down. With a win here in this one would move to five and two. As Jeremy Young picks up the strikeout, good slider on the outer half. 2-2, two -two, swing and a miss. Jeremy Young, two punch outs in the sixth. He does allow a run on an RBI single from Jake Bowie, but that's it. A guy through multiple years in the ABL, consistently an average over 300, an on-base percentage over 400, and slugging percentage over 500. 3-2, two, two two-out pitch once again, and this time it's ball four. Run number 11 comes in for the Aces. Chris Berg touches home plate for the second time today. And he wears number 8 for the Perth Heat. And the lefty has the 0-2. Called strike 3. Sends a fastball right down the pipe. 21 saves as Common Arrow pops this one high in the air. Foul territory down the first base side. A nice catch by J.D. Osborne to end the inning. Melvin, 11. Perth, four.